Hey guys, it's me again. So today I'll be focusing on five things that you should expect in a music conservatoire audition. So I realized that it's soon the audition season for music conservatoire, so I thought it might be useful for you. Um, for some of you, this might be your first audition, formal audition. For some of you, it might not be, but. I thought it would be really useful to visualize the situation and know more things about the audition before you actually do it. Anyway, so... And before I go into details, please be aware that because of this pandemic, a lot of the um, conservatoire has changed to um, online audition instead of live audition. What I mean by that is they might ask you to submit an online application, your an online playing, with you filming yourself playing your pieces instead of doing live auditions. So please make sure you are 100% sure of what you're going to do for audition. And the second thing is that some of you might know already that I've spent my time studying in the UK. So basically I did all my auditions um, of conservatoire in the UK. So so some of the details it might not apply to uh, where you're applying to. For example, you're applying to other places like Belgium, Denmark, they might be slightly different. But actually a lot of the things that I'm going to focus on can actually be applied to most of the audition. So let's go right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is know your music well. This one is quite obvious, of course you might say, oh of course I need to know my music well, I need to uh, memorize the score and stuff like that. But what I mean by that is it's more of like knowing the background of your music, knowing the background of the composer of the music that you're going to play. The reason for that is the first one is after you're playing, they will ask you to sit with them and they're just gonna ask you some questions in general about the background of music and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you know everything, if not everything, um, a lot of the stuff about your music. They might ask you, of course they might be asking some weird questions or personal questions of um, for example, why did you choose these pieces and you want to be prepared for that. The second thing is, especially if you're not bringing in your own pianist, you're going to rehearse with the allocated pianist. So you're not going to have a lot of time. I think you only got like the same time as your audition time. So it's not going to be long, it's like 15 to 20 minutes, so you might be only having time for a run through really. So make sure you know where you're going in, know all your entries, know the piano part well so it doesn't come as a shock when you play with the pianist. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is sight reading. So this one you might know already if you've seen some of the guidelines of your audition. Some conservatoire might have it, I don't know, but for most I think all of the UK conservatoire, it might, there might be exception, I didn't do all the conservatoire auditions before, so it's safe to say most of the conservatoire in UK, they are going to give you side reading pieces to do. Especially for bachelor degree, they give you a simple piece, it's not going to be something that's complicated. Um, the thing they are looking for in the side reading session is that um, they're going to see if you are able to read the notes, of course, and read the notes in a limited time to identify the key things like key signature, um, tempo, dynamics. So these are the few things that you will need to be aware of. And if you show contrast in dynamics, don't do the right, uh, wrong tempo. If it's adagio, make sure to play it slowly but not fast. Um, 
I'll show you those thing, things are quite obvious. The reason of doing this session is because there are going to be quite a lot of orchestral projects they are going to put you in. So they're just there to make sure that you can you can learn the music in a limited time. So to really observe your ability to learn orchestral music, if that makes sense. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is they're not going to listen to the whole piece. So during the audition, you know, every one has a limited time in that room. So they're not going to um, listen to the whole piece. They're going to stop you in the middle most probably. So if they do that, it's not because you did a bad job, they don't want to listen to it anymore. So so just so you know now, so you don't it doesn't come as a shock at that time. So for strings, I think for um, viola, let's say, I don't know about the strings, I'm not 100% sure, but they require two contrasting pieces, so make sure you choose them carefully and they will probably stop you before the recapitulation so be prepared for that and don't panic it's not because you played it badly it's because they have limited time and they they've listened enough to the things they want to hear probably it's about the technique you have and um, all sorts of things they just won't listen to the whole piece so don't worry so the next thing is to dress appropriately Actually, this one might seem quite obvious to some of you, but um, I figured that some of you might want to know how you want to dress in an audition. So, I'm not telling you to spend like three hours in dressing for your audition, of course not. But you need to make sure it's appropriate, you need to make sure you don't look like you're going on a holiday. You don't want to wear shorts, you don't want to wear anything that's inappropriate. I mean it's kind of like common sense but yeah you and the second thing is you need to make sure you want to make sure that what you're wearing does not affect your playing at all. So usually I will make sure I'm, I'm wearing something that's comfortable for me, something that's not too tight and definitely not high heels for me because I don't really wear high heels. Make sure you're not wearing something that you don't really get used to. For me, it's really simple black shirt, black pants, or black dress, or and a pair of black shoes. It's really simple. Just make sure you look tidy, look decent. After all, you're trying to make a good impression once you've stepped into the audition room. They don't know you before, they don't know you properly even. They won't be able to know you properly even after the audition. So you want to make a good impression to them um, and make sure they know that you respect this occasion, you respect this audition and you respect them. So the next one I'm going to talk about and it's the last one of this video is arrive ahead of your allocated audition time. So this one is really for the mind, really, for me. The first reason is that um, it's pretty obvious if you missed the audition on that day, you've missed it. You are not going to get another chance. There's no another audition will be allocated to you if you're late. So, this and the second thing is you never know what's going to happen on that day. And you want to make sure that you have time. Even if there's traffic, you will be able to catch the train. And also, it's kind of like a mind, mind thing for me because I want to make sure I am arriving there early. So usually I will arrive there um, 40 minutes before my allocated audition time or even my allocated warm-up time. So everyone will be allocated a certain amount of warm-up time. So I usually arrive 40 minutes 
before the time. I want to make sure that I have enough time to go to the toilet, to drink water, to rest, to settle myself down, to feel a little bit about that environment that I'm going to auditioning in. I would just sit inside a music conservatoire. I would just find somewhere, usually it's the cafeteria, I would just sit there and relax myself, drink some water and just try to settle myself down and that I know everything is going to be in control. The last thing you want to feel is that um, it's rushed. I really hate this feeling. When you're already nervous about the audition, you don't want yourself to be rushed. You don't want the feeling of not getting enough time before your audition. So these are the five things that I want to talk about in this video, all about auditioning in music conservatoire. No matter where you're at right now, no matter it's going to be online or live audition, I wish you all the best and good luck for all your auditions in the future. All you need <laughs> so these are so these so these are the five things that I want to talk